Welcome. My name is Oliver, and I am here to talk to you about the future of education. This presentation is about open educational resources and how they can help students overcome obstacles and transform the world. In the process, you will learn what they are, how to find them, and why it is so important. As a librarian at a community college in Colorado, I discovered many students couldn't afford the textbooks for their classes. On a daily basis, students came into the library asking if we had extra copies of textbooks on reserve for almost every class offered. I knew they were expensive, but I'd never seen the issue so up close. The rising cost of textbooks prevents students from achieving academic success. If education is the answer to self-improvement, it should be available to everyone. As educators, we have a professional responsibility to ensure our students have the tools to succeed. The future depends on it. I did some research and discovered that over the past few decades, the cost of higher education has exploded across the board and that American students are 1.5 trillion in debt. Textbooks have increased in cost by over 1,000%. This led me to discover open educational resources. Open educational resources are free academic materials that anyone can access and in some cases repurpose. This includes articles, tutorials, entire courses, videos, software, and yes, textbooks. I decided to see what I could do to promote them at my school. The purpose of community colleges is to provide affordable access to education for everyone. Since open educational resources can help students overcome financial barriers, I believe that a community college provides the perfect setting for implementing OER. We stand to benefit so much. My research also revealed to me four important things to keep in mind. One, OER are easy to find and abundant. Two, there are some restrictions on usage. Three, they've been met with successful results. And four, it's a big hit among student and professor alike. According to a few studies, the usage of OER in higher education improves student and faculty satisfaction, often results in better grades, inspires faculty with new ideas, can improve retention and enrollment, and it saves money. Now let's see where to find them. For faculty who are new to open educational resources and want big collections with additional info about them, I recommend starting at these collections. All of them have open educational resources in a variety of formats, including textbooks, tutorials, articles, videos, and more. To find open textbooks, search these collections. All of them have materials in nearly every subject at every level. In some cases, you can even edit and repurpose them to fit the needs of your students and departments. In addition, you might even increase retention and student satisfaction. To find scholarly articles, take a look at these collections of open access journals. Open access journals have sometimes been met with skepticism, but this is very unjust. They improve scholarly research by bypassing the restrictions of traditional scholarly communication. And they're available in nearly every subject. Even with fair use, it can sometimes be tricky to get good videos to show in your classroom. If you're looking for some academic videos to show your students, take a look at these collections. From YouTube to Vimeo to TED, there are countless outlets for multi-subject videos to use in your assignments in class. Lastly, I am very pleased to point out that several major universities all over the country have been putting entire courses online for all to use. This is open education at its finest, free and accessible to anyone with an internet connection. Courses on every subject are available. Now I know this is all very exciting, but before we dive in, there's some important information you need about copyright. Although OER are not copyrighted, there are some restrictions in their usage beyond fair use guidelines. Please be sure that you're aware of these terms before using material. I am happy to report that many OER fall under the public domain. As you may know, materials in the public domain are not under copyright or other licensing restrictions. Many OER, such as videos, images, and books, are in the public domain, and you can use and repurpose these to your needs. 
by far, Creative Commons is the most common type of license for open educational resources. There are different types of Creative Commons licenses, such as for non-commercial use only or no ad adaptations or derivatives, but most of them require you to cite the creator using an attribution statement or giving credit. With easy access and flexible restrictions, it's no surprise that OER are increasingly popular. The OER Commission in Colorado was put together by the Colorado Department of Higher Education to promote its usage in colleges and universities. Because of this, we'll be seeing a lot more OER in higher education. Now, what can community college faculty do to advance open educational resource use in higher ed? First, get informed, research OER, and find resources. Share what you find with your deans and other faculty members and try to encourage their usage and tell them about the advantages. For additional help and information about OER, the library is always an excellent place to start. Librarians are professionals who are trained to find all different types of materials. Many community college and other academic libraries are already promoting OER at their institutions by creating research guides and other aids. As professional educators, we play an essential role in the success of our students. We are obligated to provide the best possible services and ensure that all who want to learn have access to the materials they need. Education is empowerment, and cost should never be a barrier to success. Using OER, we can ensure a bright future.